So nice to see so many here. Welcome. Uh, we'd like to bring in our color guard from post seven. Please stand. Thank you. We have the honor, you can be seated. Well, no stand, because we're too much of the sorry. <laughs> so you don't have to sit up and, up and down. Uh, we are honored tonight to have uh, students from Meridian High School serving us, and uh, they're going to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. myself, but my family has been veterans all through and through, and so I uh, just want to thank you all. Uh, it's a great celebration for us. One of the main reasons that I joined the Elks Lodge was because of all the different things that we do for veterans. Uh, we do some amazing things with them, and tonight you're going to hear about some of the different things that we do for the veterans. So always remember, so long as there are veterans, the benevolent and protective order of Elks will never forget them. Thank you. We'd like to ask our chaplain, Francine Kincaid, to come up and we'll have a prayer before dinner, and then they'll start to serve our dinner. Let us pray. Dear God, we thank you for the brave men and women who guard, protect, fought, and continue to fight so courageously for our nation. We ask for your protection and blessing over them and their families. We pray that you be gracious and encircle them with your peace. Give them courage, hope, and strength. May they ever experience your firm support, gentle love, and compassionate healing. Be their power and protector 
leading them from the darkness to light. To you be all glory, honor, and praise, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Okay, the bar is open again. And the food will be served. So, carry on. We have the five volunteers from the leadership program at Meridian. Post 7 Legion 
uh, auxiliary and then also with Corey and her team to identify some of them that need food baskets. And we have WeQ, uh, Industrial Credit Union, uh, Edge, and Heritage have all given us money to help, you know, prepare those. So that's what I want you to know of what we do locally. I'd now like to turn it over to Brent Wagner, and he's going to tell you what the VA does here. Battalion 40, and uh, where's Leo? <laughs> he was also in the same unit that I was. We met at a VBA car show a few years ago, and it's been great ever since. Um, I'm going to briefly talk about the Vet Center program, the Vet Center services, but I thought it'd be a good opportunity to, while I was here, to have other community stakeholders talk about what they do and the services they provide veterans in the community. So I'm going to have Paul Pelot that's going to come up here and speak, as well as Matt Clark from the Opportunity Council. And let's get started. How many people here have heard of the Bellingham Vet Center? Okay, a few. That's usually a lot more than normal. <laughs> um, I'm surprised at the events that I go to and talk to people that have never heard of the Bellingham Vet Center or the Vet Center program. Um, the Vet Center program started post Vietnam War in 1979. One counselor in LA um, recognized the need to provide readjustment services for veterans that were coming back from Vietnam that were in combat and. Um, Could you speak in the microphone, please? And sorry, and experienced um, a lot of trauma from combat and being over there. Um, since that vet center started one in LA, the program now has grown to um, 330 vet centers nationwide, as well as about 80 mobile vet centers that go out to help during times of disaster, emergencies, um, and whatnot. Um, the program. Um, does a lot for veterans that have experienced um, trauma and combat. So the main focus of the Vet Center program um, is we provide mental health counseling services to help those with readjustment issues. Um, we provide a myriad of things to help um, veterans deal with that. First and foremost is that we try and we help veterans that suffer from PTSD, um, post-traumatic stress disorder. That is our primary goal and focus. Our counselors are very well trained in dealing with that, dealing with trauma and counseling, those two together. Um, it takes a lot of knowledge and skill base and experience um, to help those veterans get over that. Some of the other services that we provide, we provide couples and family counseling. We also provide grief and bereavement counseling. Um, another big thing is military sexual trauma or harassment. We also, another big thing that we try to help with is suicide prevention. Um, those are the main things about the Vet Center program, as well as other mental health issues. I don't necessarily like to talk, call them mental health issues versus just the daily stressors that a lot of people are dealing with. There's a stigma out there when you talk about mental health issues and counseling. Um, we try to take that stigma away from that. Um, the Vet Center program is vastly different than the mental health programs at the hospitals, as well as a lot of the VA clinics. Some of the differences are, one, 
if you wanted to access that as a veteran, the healthcare services at a VA medical center, you have to have an honorable discharge or a general dis discharge to be eligible for those services. The Vet Center program, one, you don't have to sign up for your VA healthcare, so we take that out of the loop. The other thing is, regardless of your discharge, if you are eligible for the program, we are there to offer counseling and help those veterans in need. I think that is a huge, huge step forward. Um, so many veterans that try to get health care at the main facilities, if they something happened and they have a dishonorable discharge or other than honorable, they're simply not eligible for those services. And quite honestly, I think that that's kind of a disservice to some of those veterans. Um, we're small clinics located in communities that are, that are easy, easily accessible. 90% um, of the counselors are veterans. So I like to call it we're vet centric. Um, we're veterans that understand the culture and the language. And I think that there's a bond there that a lot of people don't get with, with other services. Um, we do have eligibility criteria. I don't need to get into all of that. Um, we are just here. We're veterans helping veterans. Um, I used to work at a big hospital in Portland. I used to run the emergency room. And I've been up here 22, almost 23 years. And the vet center program, um, I've, seen, I've seen it change lives. I've seen it save lives. It's a great program. Um, so that is what the vet center program does. Um, if you have any questions or anything, you can just go on the internet and do it in Bellingham Vet Center. Um, and that's pretty much a nutshell what the Vet Center program does. Um, again, it's a great service for veterans. I also work with a lot of other community stakeholders, such as Corey, Anna, Paul. We all have kind of like our own unique little niche, but we also network together to help veterans on, on a myriad of, of, of conditions, levels, homelessness, all of that. Uh, so with that, Paul, um, Paul works at WordSource. Um, he's probably going to tell you some little salty Navy stories. <laughs> um, <laughs> Can't wait. But Paul's a great guy. Um, again, we're all veterans helping veterans in this community. Thank you for your time. No, I want to thank all the veterans um, for their service, for their sacrifice to this great nation. Um, and I want to thank the Elks for having me. It's a good opportunity. A lot of the things that Brent was saying, like, bring stuff to my mind. Um, so I work at WorkSource, and I'm a, a PVOP, uh, which is a Disabled Veterans Outreach Program Specialist, which is a lot of words that just mean uh, a veteran's representative. So. I am I'm paid through the Department of Labor to provide veteran services, um, and similar to what Brent was saying, I can work with any discharge except dishonor. Um, and I do a lot of case management. Um, some of you may have gone through the Vocational Rehabilitation Program. They changed it now. It's Veterans Readiness and Employment, Chapter 31, like I did. I uh, got a degree in geology because I figured a rock can study rocks, right? <laughs> Hard-headed, I, I can study geology. Um, and so in, in doing that, um, you know, you, it really runs the gamut of, of veterans that you, you might see. I've had veterans come to the parking lot, you know, in their car. They're living in their car. Um, and and that's, that's a tough situation to start in. But it's also a situation that gives me the opportunity to rely on the Opportunity Council, with the Vet Center, maybe with uh, Growing Veterans, or uh, a program that I've been involved with. Three, well, three. we had it going before COVID, and then COVID kind of stopped with Northwest Hearts United, and it's equestrian therapy, and we have a drop-in breakfast for veterans. So, you know, 
agencies like that, uh, nonprofits, you know, like like the Elks, um, VFW, American Legion, VBA, VBA, etc. Um, they all, they all, we're all here um, to help veterans, and I, I think that uh, I started my career down in Everett, which was good. I got to learn a lot about uh, all the resources down in Everett, and they. Down there, they kind of coined a phrase, which I think we adhere to here in Watkins County, and that's no wrong door. So if you have a veteran, they're in need. Um, and you know, remember Paul Thor Pilo from WorkSource? Send them down there, they know who I am. Um, and it doesn't matter whether it's, yes, I am, uh, I'm an employment representative, but I'm also there to help with resources. So, no matter what it is, I've helped with all kinds of stuff. So um, they might, if they go in and see Brant, he's going to like refer it, refer out to whoever he has to. So I think that's a big, big thing for we have. Walker County has some awesome resources, and um, I, I appreciate your time. I appreciate your service. Um, I was on the flight deck. Any other in the Navy? Any other Airedales out there? Oh, there we go. There we go. I was an aviation electrician and I worked on F-14s and I always say I worked the flight deck and it was a blast. <laughs> <laughs> That's my very worst dad joke. My, my, kids are, my kids are tired of it. Um, but uh, so in wrapping up, my, if I had something I would want to say in wrapping up, it's that um, my ankle was crushed on the flight deck when I was 21. Um, and so that kind of ended the whole retirement idea. Um, and I got sent to a shore squadron, so I was off the ship eventually. But um, my, the VA's come a long ways. My battle with the VA was four and a half years, and included contacting Senator Murray when I was working with her down in Everett on a housing project, and contacting uh, Congressman Larson. So I, I know what veterans go through. Four and a half years, they just, misplaced my box in Seattle somewhere. Shocking. So Shocking. if whenever I'm speaking with veterans, it's a lot better now because it's all digitized, but whenever I'm speaking with veterans, you know, if I hear I have an army paratrooper in front of me and he has a 10% disability and he's had both his knees replaced and you know his neck neck ruined from jumping, it something a little bell goes off in my head and I'm like he needs to go see somebody from the Sean at the vet center to help reopen his claim. So, um, you know, I always want veterans to just get what they deserve. And my heart, I finally, after 22 jobs, after getting out of high school, this is my 22nd job at WorkSource, um, I found what I was meant to do, a heart for veterans. So, please, you know, any questions, just you can send veterans down to WorkSource and I can get them plugged in where they need to go. Alright? Sounds fair? Yeah. Alright. <laughs> now, I'm going to turn it over to the Opportunity Council. I'm one of my, they've housed a lot of my veterans, so awesome. Hi, I'm Anna Clark, and um, I'm from the Opportunity Council. I'm the Veteran Program Supervisor, and um, I'm here with Corey, who was mentioned, and then a case manager, Jen, who works with our veterans. And we want to thank you all, who are veterans, for your service and sacrifice. And second, uh, to thank the Elks Lodge for all the welcome home kits you've provided us this year. They've been so beneficial to all of our veterans who have moved in. Um, we've housed 38 veterans this year and families. And as welcome home kids, um, we wouldn't have been able to get them the things that they need without them, and it's been really helpful. Um, at Opportunity Council, what our veterans program does is we work with at-risk and homeless veterans that are on the streets, and we work with them to establish goals to get into housing and to get everything they need to get back on their feet, whether that means increasing income, whether that means, you know, increasing disability, connecting them with resources, connecting them with the vet center and stuff like that. Um, that's what we do. And if you know of a veteran who's in need, you can always send them to Opportunity Council um, and they can get screened in for our program and then we 
take off from there. Um, yeah, and just thank you for everything, and we are just continuing to bolster all of our foundations in this community to help lift people up. So thank you so much, and thank you for having us. Great information, thank you. Okay, we'd like to recognize our veterans at this time. We have a very special veteran with us who's also an ELK member. World War II, I understand. Raymond Bush. Bish. You're fine. You're just fine. Thank you so much for your service. Thank you. And thank you for being here tonight. Okay, let's see what the Army looks like. Stand up. Let's see you. <laughs> Come on, Army.
can I first say thank you to our veterans? And I'd like to say a little bit. There are five veterans in my family. Two brothers, two brothers-in-law, and my husband, who is no longer with us. <clears throat> While the storm clouds gather far across the sea, let us swear allegiance to a land that's free. Let us all be grateful for this land so fair as we raise our voices in a solemn prayer. God bless America. our program. Feel free to stay and visit or have a cocktail or visit your neighbors or thank the veterans and the kitchen. Mary did an excellent job. The food is thank you all for coming. Good night.